Hello, welcome to GSP 1202-2202, Use of Library, Study Skills, and ICT. And this lecture is delivered by Muhammad Hassan from Faculty of Computing, Bayero University, Kano. The objective of taking this lecture is to enable students have enough knowledge and to know the meaning of ICT, that is information and communication technology, and also to enable them know the component of ICT. And uh, ICT has different devices. At the end of this lecture, students are expected to know different ICT devices. And at the same time, they can be able to explain what are the positive and the negative impact of ICT on our society. So in line with this, this lecture has uh, is divided into four, starting with the definition of ICT, the component of ICT, the devices of ICT, the positive and negative impact of ICT. Then we have reference materials for this lecture. So students can go into those books to know more about uh, the meaning of ICT. We have two books here. The first one at the left hand side using information technology, a practical introduction to computers and communications. And the second one is the enhanced edition of a book titled Discovering Computers in 2017. So, as we know now, we are living in an age that is referred to as information age, an age where information is available almost everywhere. The society around us is often called information society. And uh, now we can say we are imprisoned by information technology gadgets such as computers and smartphones. I'm sure everyone has at least one of those gadgets. And without them, we will likely find life unbearable on this earth. So for students like you coming to the university, unless they are not coming from the, uh, uh, the current, the world, then definitely they must have knowledge of ICT gadgets, such as the most common one that is the phones. And, uh, then ATM machine is also part of them. And so one can wonder what will happen if there is no ICT in this world. That means there will be no smartphone, which will make life more disastrous. And communication will have to be physical, face to face. And uh, the aeroplanes, the cars, all the means of transportation has to be by foot or animals. And there will be no internet. And uh, we will have to go to the olden age method of learning, go to the library and work with the hard copies and, uh, of books and papers. There will be no refrigerators, microwaves and air conditioners. And for those who are familiar with the banking system, there will be no mobile banking and uh, the ATMs uh, will not be in existence. For medication, ICT is highly applicable in this area. So without ICT, there will be no incredible mod uh, medical motivation, such as heart face makers and uh, laser surgeries. So we can see now clearly that the world without ICTs will be dark and unbearable. Now, what is the acronym for ICT? And uh, what this means is, by saying ICT, what is the meaning of I, what is the meaning of C, and also meaning of T? I in ICT refers to information. And the information is the knowledge obtained from reading, investigation, study, or research. So this I, the information, has for to fulfill our daily task. C stands for communication, which is the process of transmitting messages. It is 
the act of uh, the process whereby information is exchanged between individuals using symbols, signs, or verbal interaction. So to gain knowledge, information is paramount. Communication is very important in gaining knowledge too. T stands for technology, which is the use of scientific knowledge, experience, and resources to create process that fulfill our needs. So technology is vital in communication. So knowing the acronym of ICT, how do we define the term information and communication technology? That is the ICT. So this is a combination of technologies used for collection, analysis, distribution, transfer, and storage of information. ICT covers all forms of computer and communication equipment, as well as the software used to create, store, transmit, receive, interpret, and manipulate information into different formats. Uh, component, they have, each component has its own corresponding set of devices, like computers. As the component, we have different categories of computers, such as desktop, laptop, tablet. Then for broadcasting equipment, there are devices such as radios and televisions. Internet also is one of them. Then for telecommunication devices, there are some devices such as switches, hubs, modem, routers, mobile and uh, mobile and smartphones. For storage devices, we have hard disks, flash drive, and the memory card. So for educational purposes, we have different uh, devices, such as projectors, the e-book readers, the e-learning applications, and uh, the smart boards. So going into their details one by one, Computer as a component of ICT, and it is the most important of all other types of ICT devices. It is an electronic device operating under the control of instructions stored in its own memory that can accept data, process that data, and give out uh, the output. And they can store information somewhere for future use. And uh, the most popular category of computers is called the PC, that is a personal computer. And uh, this PC, it is a computer that can perform all its inputs, processing, output, and storage activities by itself, and is intended to be used by one person at a time. So those types of personal computers, they are desktops, the tablet, and uh, the so a laptop, also called notebook computer, it is a very small, lightweight mobile computer with a screen in its lid and the keyboard in its base. So everything is attached together and it is designed to fit on our laps and for easy transportation. A tablet is smaller than the laptop, but it is larger than the phone we are using for making calls. It is also a thin lighter weight mobile computer that has a touch screen the desktop is the biggest of the three it is a final uh, personal computer designed to be in a stationary location where all of its components fit on or under a, docks, uh, a desk or table so those pictures are the pictures of uh, computers as ict component and also pictures of the three different devices on our computer. That is, at the top right-hand side, we have a laptop. The top left-hand side, it is a tablet. As we can see, we can use our fingers to touch the screen and control the computers. So the desktop is at the bottom, which contain several components, such as the monitor, the keyboard, and uh, the system unit and the mouse. So 
For disseminating or broadcasting information, we have some equipment and devices. So the ICTs are all about information. And for any information to be usable, definitely we have to think of how do we transmit those informations to other people. So broadcasting technology are the main technologies that are used for transfer, transferring information to larger group of people. So those dissemination equipment include radios, televisions, and internet. So we have radios and televisions. We all know uh, radios, which the technology actually began in 20th century, and it is the most popular because of extremely wide reach uh, coverage so it can cover almost all part of the world including rural areas they are very cheap they are not expensive compared to uh, the type the different three types of computers they require small size equipment and uh, they don't need electricity for them to work we can uh, use low power generation device to operate radios televisions television sets they appeared 30 years after the uh, the first radio was uh, launched and they are more captivating because of their fabulous video capabilities they can show images though they are more expensive than radios and they require larger equipment and uh, they need more power than radios the internet Internet is what brought new ways of disseminating information. And uh, it is used in various, uh, uh, for various reasons, such as business. We use it at home and also we use it to purchase uh, computers and other devices uh, through internet. So we can use internet to do our business. It is a medium for receiving news and the entertainment over and above the radios. So internet is used to download radio and TV content. And uh, the narrow, narrow casting and uh, podcasting. So for telecommunication, which is referred to the broad field of long distance communications among human beings, between human beings and machine and among machines. So telecommunication equipment refers to devices that are used to transmit information such as uh, sound, images, and files over long distance. Those devices include, as I mentioned, hubs, switches, routers, modem, and uh, mobile. So we have pictures of hubs which is a device used to form a local area network, very small network. And uh, that is what we can see at the left-hand side, bottom left and uh, right-hand side of uh, the slide. So they are commonly used to connect segment of local area network. And uh, they have multiple ports where Computers can be connected into computer and other devices, such as printer, can be connected. While router is more advanced, it is a hardware device used to receive, analyze, and move package across network. So, so uh, router is much more than uh, is much more than a hub because it can connect different networks, and in one network we can have several switches so smartphone it is an internet capable phone that usually also include a calendar and address books to contain calculator calculators a notepad editor games and several other apps which are programs on the smartphones so other apps are available through an app store that typically is associated with the phone so the storage devices, they are devices that can record or write or read. They can read, record items. They can write items and uh, from O to the storage media. The storage devices often also function as a source of input and output because they transfer items from storage to memory and vice versa.
drives and uh, writers or readers, which are types of storage devices that accept specific kind of storage media. For example, we have a DVD drive which accepts uh, only DVDs. Devices for storing information are important component of ICT because of the increased dependence on information. So we need somewhere after accessing the information, we can keep it for future use. So we have example of storage devices from uh, DVD, the hard drive, the memory card, and uh, we have memory card attached to computers. We have memory card, memory card in digital cameras. Even in our smartphones, we have memory card. And uh, uh, we have even the hard drive, which is a hardware device. And it is mobile. We can take it from one place to another. And they can be connected to computers to receive or transfer information. So devices and equipment used for education. As I mentioned, there are several devices which are used nowadays in our classroom. So those devices that are used in education, they are also ICT, component of ICT. Multimedia technologies are used for education purposes to help teachers make their lessons more interesting and to improve the retentive memory of uh, the student. So examples, as I mentioned, we have projectors in our classroom, we have e-readers and smart boards in our classrooms, which we can connect our computers and display the items. So using the smart boards, one uh, may not need uh, the whiteboard marker for them to write, and they don't need even the physical, the hard uh, eraser for them to erase the text. So the projector is an output device that can take images generated by a computer and reproduce them by projection onto a screen or even on a wall or other surfaces. A smart board is an interactive device that connects with the computer to display its content. It allows teachers and students to control the computer through touching the screen. The e-reader device is a mobile electronic device that is primarily designed for the purpose of reading digital e-books and periodicals. So an e-book or digital book is an electronic version of the printed book, readable on computers and other digital devices. So nowadays, we don't have to go to the market and buy hard copy of books. We can have e-books, we can read them through our computers, read them through our smartphones, we can read them through our tablets, even our desktop or laptops, we can download and use books. And this is this makes it easier because it also saves us from the cost of buying hard copies of books, even though some of the soft copies are also not free. So those are the examples of the equipment used for educational purposes. At the top left hand side, we have two different types of projectors. We have tablets, we have desktop computer, and we have interactive boards. The interactive boards, the two of them we have at the bottom left, they are used to connect our computers and we can control our computers through so in our everyday life, we use ICT not only in the area of education. We use in in banking sector for customers, businessmen, and uh, bank administrators. They can benefit from the usage of ICT. In the industry also, computers are used to facilitate production planning and control system, to support chain management, and to help in product design in the industrial sector. In the industrial sector also, workers, researchers, and administrators can benefit from uh, the usage of IT. In the area of e-commerce, in the area of business, even in the area of agriculture, we can use ICT. In the area of government, we 
I use ICT for e-governance. Then what are the positive impact of ICT on our society? It makes communication faster and the cost of communication is lower. Sharing of information is most effective nowadays. Daily routine management. Then socially people can interact and they can become friends. So ICT improves social relationship and it gives means of employment to many people. Health literacy is easier to be found and the usage of free time. So the presence of ICT help people to spend their free time more effectively. Paperless environment, we don't need paper to read and write. And uh, this is mostly important in the area of education. Negatively, computer is a threat to our health. It can affect our health. The light intensity, for example, of computers can affect our eyes. And uh, another negative impact is the issue of isolation. One can survive in isolation and uh, lack of privacy. Do something today, you can see it everywhere tomorrow. It increased bullying and job loss. This is one of the major negative impacts. That is the issue of job, job loss. People who can, people can work in one office today, but introducing ICT can allow the company or the organizations to do this work with less manpower. So other people will be blessed. So there are some ICT innovations for some years. For example, 30 years, there are a list of uh, innovations of ICT. Internet comes in the 1990s, the Photoshop, the email and text messages, the Netflix 1997, where movies can be downloaded, can be viewed online, the use of drones, mobile broadband, hybrid cars, flat screen display, and many other innovations, as we can see on the screen. Lastly, the self-driving car, where we have autonomous cars this time around. You don't need driver. And all these are achieved due to the introduction and uh, proper usage of ICT. So this is the end of, promo uh, of the presentation. Thank you very much. My name is Muhammad Hassan once again. If you have any questions, you are free to ask. Thank you.